Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number six for early intermediate, and today we're dealing with reflexive verbs. Dan, dan, dan. Hola, Gordon. Hola, Cindy, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, ¿y tú cómo estás? Hoy fantásticamente. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué hoy fantásticamente? Porque, no sé, porque estoy vivo, porque respiro. Porque hace sol. No hace sol. Un poco. Un poco. Hace sol para Inglaterra. Sí. Eso sí. <laughs> okay, so we're dealing with reflexive verbs today, okay? Now, um, I don't know if you've come across reflexive verbs. We're going to assume that you haven't. But what's probably happened is, as you've been reading Spanish, you've probably seen some reflexive verbs. Now, verbs, normal, what we've dealt with verbs, comer. So c verbs either end with a, a, er, or ir, yeah? Ar, er, ir. However, you'll notice some verbs that, what, as one of my students said, the verbs that have an arse on the end of them, okay? And what I mean by that is they have A-R-S-E, arse, okay? Obviously the E-R verbs have erse and irse, but those verbs that have got a se on the end, they're what we call reflexive verbs. Now, reflexive verbs, we have them in English, but we're not aware of them. Typically, unless you've studied language or whatever, you're not aware when you're using a reflexive verb, but it's basically the, the say on the end, the arse bit of the, of the verb, means oneself. Okay? So, for example, um, there's a, um, a verb, bañar, to bathe. But bañarse is to bathe oneself. You've used reflexive verbs quite often if you've said something like, do you know what? I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to wash myself down. Yeah? Or um, I'm going to, uh, let's have a look, I'm going to I'm going dress to, myself. Sorry. Yeah, go on. No, or anything. I'm going to buy myself yeah. a nice sandwich. Yeah, I'm going to buy myself, I'm going to make myself. I'm going to make myself. Myself. Something. All of these Myself, yourself, his self, herself, ourselves, yourselves, their selves. That is reflexive. And what it is, it's an action that happens on itself. It's an action that happens in a verb only to the people involved in the verb. Okay? It's an act when the person doing the action is the same as the person receiving the action. When you do an action and you receive the action, that's a reflexive verb. Okay. So if, if Gordon is doing an action and he's receiving the action, he's using a reflexive verb. Because it reflects back on me. Yeah, so it's like a circle. Okay. So it goes out and back to me. Okay. So for the for the reflexive verbs, as I say, you can spot them because they've got some of them, the AR verbs have got an arse on the end. It That breaks down for each person. Okay. Say, just on the end of the verb, is oneself. Okay. However, these little endings, these little extra bits, are called um, pronouns. Okay, that for each each conjugation, there's a pronoun that goes with it. So when you talk about yourself, yo, me, you have the pronoun me. Then you have tu, you, te. He or she, se. And then we, nos, you all. Os, and then they say. Now, what I do sometimes with my students is to get them, get them to say it, say the list over a number of times until they just get the, It's like a little rhythm, and it goes: mete se, no sos se, mete se, no sos se. Get that in your head, and then you'll never forget them. <laughs> okay. So that's basically what happens with the verb. If we think about bañar. Okay, and we're, we're going to go through all of the, the things you do in the morning. But if you think of bañar, if you want to say I bathe, it's baño. But I I bathe myself, me baño. Okay, me baño. So that's how it works. You must, with reflexive verbs, you must put this me or te or whatever, you must put that in. Okay, or it, if, if you don't, what it means is that you're bathing somebody else or something else. To show that you're doing it to yourself, you put a me in front, me baño. 
So, Cynthia, what are the, the typical verbs of the morning, these reflexive ones that, that we have, for the things we do in the morning? We have despertarse. Despertarse is to wake up. Okay, despertarse. So if I want to say, I wake up, slightly irregular, mm -hmm. it's me despierto. Me despierto. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's despertarse. And then what else? Levantarse. Levantarse is to get up. To levitate yourself out of bed, <laughs> yeah? Levitate oneself. So, levantarse. So I would say, me levanto. Me levanto. I get up. Um, bañarse. Bañarse. To bathe oneself. So, me baño. Me baño. Mm -hmm. O ducharse which is to have a, a douche in the shower, okay? Me ducho, me ducho. Vestirse. What do you think that is? To put your vest on, to get <laughs> dressed, okay? Me visto, me visto, another slightly irregular one. Mm. And what about? We could use, yeah, um, me, sorry, peinarse. Peinarse. So that's to use a pain in your hair to comb your hair. So, me peino, me peino. Um, cepillarse los dientes. Ooh. Ooh. O lavarse los dientes. We'll use lavarse, no? Because it's nice and straightforward to wash oneself the teeth. So, me lavo los dientes. Me lavo los dientes. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's okay. it for the morning. So, that's things that you would do typically in the morning. It seems for whatever reason that a lot of reflexive verbs happen in the morning. So, why don't we run through and we'll, I'm going to ask Cynthia what she typically does in the morning, okay? And I'll act surprised, as if I didn't <laughs> know. Okay. You don't know because you're ugly. One to you. <laughs> Could you? Uh, okay. Uh, Cynthia, um, por la mañana, ¿qué haces normalmente? Normalmente... Me despierto a las siete y media, pero me levanto normalmente a las ocho. Mm -hmm. um, me baño a las ocho y cuarto, mm -hmm. más o menos. Um, me visto, me peino el pelo. Mm -hmm. Desayuno uh -huh. y me lavo los dientes y voy a trabajar. Muy bien. ¿Y tú, Gordon, qué haces por las mañanas? Tan tarde. Tan tarde, no. Por la mañana, típicamente, me despierto a las siete y media o las ocho. <risa> me... Levanto directamente. Luego me baño. Eh, me Luego desayuno. No, me visto. Muy importante. Me visto. Luego desayuno. Luego me lavo los dientes. Y después voy a a la calle. Con chato, ¿no? Con chato, típicamente. Sí. Yeah. So that's, that's how you use reflexive. Can I say one thing really quickly? Can. You know when you're talking about um, brushing your teeth or combing your hair, in English you say, I brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. But we say, I brush myself the teeth. Or I wash myself the, the hair. Mm. We don't use the possessive, the my hair or my my teeth. So we say, me lavo los dientes, mm. the teeth, or me lavo el pelo. I wash the hair. I wash myself the hair. Yeah. Rather than me lavo mi pelo, it's mm -hmm. by putting another me in, it would be redundant because you've already said me. We already already know to whom the action's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just say, I wash myself the hair. It's a good point. Um, okay, so, so that's reflexive verbs. 
in a nutshell. We've just sort of skimmed on it. There's more information in the help sheets. Hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll see you in the, the next podcast. Hasta luego. Hasta la próxima.